Hello, everyone. First of all, uh, thank you, II. Thank you, CPC, for giving me this opportunity to make the presentation for the hydrogen refilling station network in China. I'm Justin Gu. I'm here to present GF Hydrogen or Golf Hydrogen, which is our Chinese name. We are one of the leading hydrogen energy equipment manufacturing in China, and we have uh, a very big market share in China for the hydrogen refilling station. First, I want to start with the history of hydrogen refilling station development in China. Actually, the start of hydrogen refilling station uh, construction uh, is uh, part of the UNDP projects. It uh, starts in 2003. And then the first station was built for the Beijing Summer Olympic Games. It starts in 2006. And then it was put in two years in 2008 for the Olympic Games. Then the, uh, we see the projects increasing, actually starts from the phase three of these UNDP projects, which is for the commercialized hydrogen refilling station projects in China. And then after 2018, uh, we saw rapid growth in this year. 19 new stations were built in this year for the uh, hydrogen refilling. Then by, uh, at the July of 2022, we calculated that the accumulated hydrogen refilling station in China has reached 270 stations. And with this number at that time, it becomes one number one. So you can see actually we already have a lot of hydrogen refilling stations in China and a lot of uh, hydrogen vehicles are running right now. Then on this page, you can see the map of all these stations has been built. We can find some interesting information here. So first of all, the number one most popular uh, uh, province in China for hydrogen refilling station is the Guangdong province. And then number two is Shandong, number three is Jiangsu, actually number four is Zhejiang, which is very close with the numbers uh, in Jiangsu. So all of this province, you can see it's uh, located in the coast area. And uh, this is also where the industry is very strong in China. The hydrogen, uh, the use of hydrogen powered vehicles is actually mainly for the industry uh, transportation applications. Then uh, in the follow, following slides, I want to show you the diversity, diversity of the uh, hydrogen refrain station in China. We have many different kinds of hydrogen refrain station. And uh, to observe, observe the numbers here, actually we can find uh, very interesting uh, results for the development of the market. So first uh, we have this comparison between stationary installation and skid mounted installation. So skid mounted hydrogen refrain station is uh, much more popular here uh, in the beginning because at that time, the hydrogen refrain station demand is uh, more temporary. Many projects are pilot projects. They probably only have one or two hydrogen powered vehicles. So the station, uh, since it's a big investment, and uh, also the uh, Stationary installation also represents sometimes the bigger station, skid mounted is smaller ones. So you can see actually dialing these years, the stationary installation are growing and the skid mounted installation are decreasing. With these numbers in mind, you can find out the close pattern for the hydrogen refilling station. And I believe this will also represent the uh, situation or the path in other market in the future. Then these slides, uh, we can see the hydrogen refilling station, hydrogen only refilling station com uh, compared with the combined hydrogen refilling station. The combined station means that the hydrogen refilling station is built together with the uh, gas station and uh, also the EV stations. So by comparing, all these uh, refilling 
options together. You can save the cost and uh, uh, you can also use some premium location for the stations because usually they are already been taken by gas stations. And also it uh, means that uh, for the refueling, it is easier and also more and more accepted by the public because uh, this kind of gas stations uh, was uh, in the, let's say, city center or good locations close to the uh, uh, residential area. So it's more convenient, but it's uh, in the past it is not allowed because of the safety concern. But uh, I believe after all of this year's pilot, you can see hydrogen refilling is actually very safe. Then we see here is for the hydrogen generation plus refueling all in one station. The number is also increasing. This kind of station are going to produce hydrogen on site and then use the hydrogen for the refueling. So you don't need to uh, think about uh, or worry about uh, the transportation of hydrogen because sometimes it's going to be a big challenge when the hydrogen refueling station is far from the uh, hydrogen production site. Uh, the transportation costs are going to be very high. And in this case, if you produce hydrogen where you do the refueling, it will be cost saving. Then also, you can see uh, the hydrogen refueling station for 700 bar is also increasing. Uh, 700 bar hydrogen refueling station is for the passenger car, and uh, it's also uh, going to be a uh, uh, normal pressure or more and more popular uh, solution, even for the big cars like the trucks and the bus in the future. Then the uh, daily refilling capacity, or let's say the size of the station are also increasing. In the beginning, most of the stations are for 500 kilograms per day, which is a uh, standard size at that time. But then when the demands for the hydrogen refill refilling is increasing. We see more and more stations, uh, they get bigger and bigger. Actually, by the uh, in last year, we also built a station with more than six tons per day. So you see, it's even higher than this one here. Then uh, the numbers, how many stations we were built in China. So by the end of 2022, there are more than 300 stations. And here we are also proud to state that the GF hydrogen, go for hydrogen, we are the number one uh, with the highest market share of 37% uh, 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 of market share here. Then a little bit about the uh, components in the station, which uh, is the key components for the hydrogen refilling, the compressor. Right now we saw also two different options. Uh, one is diaphragm, is one is hydraulic driven. Actually, the hydraulic driven is uh, uh, gets more and more popular. So the number here is increasing. And uh, we are going to see this also uh, in the future. Uh, then maybe until now, some people might ask uh, more question or get more interesting about GF hydrogen. So I would like to also use some term introduce ourselves. GF Hydrogen, we are one of the biggest hydrogen energy equipment supplier in China, speaking of the revenue. And we are the one-stop supplier for the entire green hydrogen uh, ecosystem here. So first, we have a hydrogen refilling station. We built 120 stations so far, which is number one in China. Uh, we also produce uh, a VHSS, vehicle-mounted hydrogen supply system, which is the gas tank of hydrogen in the vehicles. So far, we delivered uh, about 10,000 systems, which is also number one in the market. Then we are also the top three alkaline electrolyzer uh, system manufacturer in China. We produce not only the stack, but also the uh, system for the hydrogen generation, including the liquid gas separation system, uh, gas purification system, pure water system, so all these systems you can get from us as a turnkey solution. And then uh, 
last but not the least, we are also a pioneer in liquid hydrogen sector, which we believe will be a solution and answer to the transportation of green hydrogen in the future. We just delivered our, our first commercialized uh, commercial liquid hydrogen projects in China in last year. Then we are also very strong in R&D part. Right now we have 400 patents applied and among them 115 has already been authorized to us. Then some uh, more pictures, case studies about our hydrogen refilling station. The first, uh, this is a uh, hydrogen refilling station for the uh, 2022 uh, Beijing Winter Olympic Games. Uh, every time the Olympic Games, they want to promote uh, green energy and green hydrogen is the topic of this year. So yeah, in total three stations we built for the Beijing Winter Olympic Games. And uh, so these three stations providing the refueling service for more than 1,000 fuel cell vehicles used in Beijing Olympic Games. Uh, these vehicles are buses, trucks, and also some uh, servicing uh, uh, cars, like uh, the cars who are going to combat the snow or produce the snow. So all of these uh, vehicles, they are uh, powered by green hydrogen at that time. Then this is uh, one of the biggest hydrogen refueling stations in China. We built in this year. It's a 350 bar hydrogen refueling station, and uh, the daily refueling capacity is uh, six tons per day, which can provide the uh, refueling service to more than 200 hydrogen powered trucks. And other interesting case study here is. Uh, hydrogen refilling station designed for the fuel cell trams. You can see this station actually is adjusted to the uh, railway truck. So it can provide the hydrogen refilling station, uh, hydrogen refilling service for the trams easily. And then our first overseas projects of hydrogen refilling station are stationed in Malaysia. Uh, right now this station just been built in this year and it's uh, 700 bar pressure and uh, uh, it's uh, for the passenger cars. Then uh, in the last part of uh, my presentation, I would like to introduce the liquid hydrogen solutions because uh, here you can see uh, also from the map before where hydrogen is in big demand, usually the electricity price is very high. And uh, where you can produce hydrogen, green hydrogen in cheaper price, it's uh, very far away from the uh, from the user. So how to transport the hydrogen in long distance? Let's say 1,000 kilometers, 2,000 kilometers away. The answer here is the liquid hydrogen. So with our solution, uh, first we have a liquid hydrogen factory. We can produce uh, over 15 uh, tons per day. And the power consumption at this scale is 10 kilowatt hour per kilogram. And for the transportation, we have the liquid hydrogen uh, trailer, which uh, can ship uh, 2.5 to 3.3 tons per trailer, which is six to eight times more than the uh, conventional compressed hydrogen tube trailer. And also the vehicle itself, including the tank, are 30% lighter than the tube trailer. And consider all of this, the transportation cost uh, comparing with compressed Hydrogen is 85% to 19% cheaper. And then we also have the liquid hydrogen refilling station. The power consumption by using liquid hydrogen refilling because uh, uh, actually you can use the uh, cold temperature of liquid hydrogen for cooling and uh, save the energy here for the refilling stage. The power consumption is less than two kilowatt hour per kilogram of Hydrogen. Uh, with that in mind, we have uh, the complete solution from GF Hydrogen for the liquid hydrogen uh, liquefaction factory, liquid hydrogen transportation, liquid hydrogen refilling, and also we have the liquid hydrogen tanks here for the vehicles. 
so with us, you can have the entire solution for the liquid hydrogen for the different applications. And some uh, real pictures about our liquid hydrogen products. This is the equipment we delivered for the first commercial hydrogen projects in China. In the past, the liquid hydrogen projects, uh, uh, liquid hydrogen is there in China for sure, but uh, they are all used for the aerospace uh, applications. So for the commercial uh, applications, this is the first project. We produce uh, the key components here in this picture and uh, ship it to our customer and make the installation uh, inside. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I hope you find the sharing interesting. And uh, if you have any questions or if you want to discuss about the cooperation with GF Hydrogen for hydrogen refilling station, hydrogen generation system, or liquid hydrogen solutions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.